Hey, everyone. So this is um, kind of an encapsulation of all the preceding, starting with the immediately preceding recording uh, on the county in question and our whole approach. So to put it very concisely, our very first act, our very first step in the county in question is to come blazing in with Darth Vegan food healers and feeding everyone um, plant-based foods uh, for free. Um, and a lot more is said on that in, in food healers uh, videos and interviews. So I'll eventually get the links into the description here. Um, We come in as Darth Vegan with food healers, with music, arts, of across all media, as far as I'm concerned, really make it kind of a festival, a carnival sort of atmosphere where we provide the stone soup, if you will, and everyone else brings all that they're doing, which are the real ingredients. We're just kind of the structure for it. Um, we're part of the infrastructure for it, part of it. The county in question provides the vast majority of the infrastructure, the people, the SPAT communities, and uh, students, parents, administrators, teachers. Um, and let the games begin kind of thing, followed by an appearance in the auditorium before the aforementioned SPAT communities, all of them. And... Um, you know, everyone will have been prepared for the question. The question is, do you want to know the truth about the poly crisis? The ones who do are invited to stand up, walk out of the auditorium and into the room or the space um, <clears throat> where, and if everyone says, hey, yes, I want to be a part of it, great, maybe we just stay where we are. But in either case, the question is, do you want to know the truth about the poly crisis? That's the first question. If so, great come on out and then we do a recorded presentation for them right which maybe becomes an unlisted video that you have to request permission in order to you know see it whatever <clears throat> um, or you know prove that you're an adult or whatever you know so that we don't just unleash this on the world, but it'll get out because information wants to be free. But we basically provide a presentation. This is what the poly crisis is all about. This is how bad it is. This is how severe it is. This is how it's growing exponentially. And we're now operating on a time frame of essentially months. Um, okay, there you go. The, what about the folks who didn't want to know the truth about the poly crisis? Well, let's say they stay in the auditorium, right? And then the lights go dim, we break out the popcorn and beverages and all that, food healers food for anyone who is hungry, and we play, I don't know, some Disney movie or something, I don't know, but something that's, that makes people say, whoa, wait a second, yeah, what is the alternative to wanting to know the truth? <laughs> and um, I just think, you know, it's an opportunity for to be extremely impactful and hilarious. And so one of them gets a Disney movie, the other one gets Poly Crisis in Technicolor. And then what's next? Well, that's really the analysis of it. Remember from a previous video, everything has two parts, the analysis and the solutioneering for any topic. First we analyze it, then we bring solutioneering and a whole bunch of other good things as we've discussed in the previous three videos. Um, and, you know, and then after they see what's the truth about the poly crisis, then they're invited to do something about it as a collective, to join the collective that's doing something about it. And, um, And Food Healers becomes ongoing and it expands, in, especially into the, the poorer areas. I mean, my goodness, there are some 
insanely poor areas in Maryland, for example, uh, that are not too far from where we're going to be operating as a base. So we get food to them and food and clean drinking water, um, all in reusable uh, containers and um, food healers then expands from the supply of food into community gardens, which becomes extremely empowering and healthy and educational and community building and all kinds of good things. And, you know, little by little, we get into other topics, but the core is Darth Vegan, you know, the team, the movement of the Darth Vegan movement. And, um, and community and associated community um, doing food healers. Boom, boom. It's like the who and who, the who and the what, who Darth vegan community, the what food healers feeding everyone plant-based foods for free, gourmet plant-based foods for free. Um, and then, you know, with the music, the arts, the comedy, and then the conversations, that's where we, really blast in that this is way more than some you know dude in a costume you know feeding people uh no this is deep stuff and that's why we very quickly after our debut like maybe within a day or two i don't know or within that week or something maybe we perform all week long starting sunday and then by Friday, it's auditorium time, and there's Darth Vegan, and you know, he's by then quite popular, and many of the kids have met him, and they know what's coming. The fundamental question, do you want to know the truth about the poly crisis, yes or no? And it's Disney versus Chizzy. <laughs> Disney versus Chizzy. Um, which side are you on, right? Not a bad slogan. Um and because anyway i could go on and on but we basically blast in boom boom maybe a week of performances then in the auditorium and um and by then it's news it's local news and all politics is local so you've got you know a very significant component of the greater washington dc area already you know, participating in these uh, transformational conversations and transformational events. I mean, let's face it, this combination of Darth Vegan, all the different forms of arts that we can bring to it. I've only mentioned a few, including comedy, including, you know, the art of dialogue. Um, and some people are all into the science of the dialogue and measuring everything and that's all really cool stuff i refer to doc time stuff um and and, and then it just starts from there now beyond that point goodness it's totally unpredictable um, I think the uh, universal logic folks might disagree. They might think it's quite predictable, but um, I, I certainly don't see the obvious prediction. If there is one, <laughs> I don't think there is one. I think it's for the whole, for all the SPAT communities and all participating communities across society and around the world participating at that point to determine what happens next, right? The main point being that Chizzy is born at that moment because, you know, this ain't Las Vegas. What happens here in Chizzy land in, you know, Washington, the Washington, D.C. area, or the greater, the greater D.C. area. Um, it doesn't stay in Vegas. It goes. Right. It spreads. It gets broadcast. You know, recordings are watched you know, anytime anyone wants and it's all well publicized um, and it just becomes this movement. And then suddenly you get a bunch of smart, committed high school 
students and and associated SPAT communities um, forming a collective human intelligence and finally grappling with the poly crisis. I mean, it's so simple and it's just straightforward. It's Occam's razor. You know, we've talked about, as I talk about in previous videos, other different possible approaches, just like focus on a certain number of projects, well-defined projects, well-defined goals, da, 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 da. No, this is not that. This is going at to right to the jugular of the poly crisis and taking it down. All right. Love you all. And thanks for watching.